Hello, I'm D.R. Harrison. I'm going to do a brief summary on, on the graphic novel March Book One, written by Congressman John Lewis and Andrew Aiden, and drawn by Nate Powell. This is an original graphic novel based on the march on Washington. Congressman Powell wasn't just one of the marchers, he was one of the speakers. In fact, he spoke right before Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I, I Have a Dream speech. I feel this is one of the most important books that came out last year. It retells the time I think most people don't really think about anymore, and they really should. The novel begins with a brief flashback and a flash of violence. The flashback ends with, with the shadow of a police officer on the bridge being a black man lying down on a bridge. The only things not not in shell on the second panel is the victim's hands stretched out. And at that moment, the panel just fades to black. This is important because um, this image will set the story to come. The story starts with Congressman Lewis on January 20th, 2009, getting ready to go to the inauguration of President-elect Barack Obama. When he arrives to the office, he meets a woman and her two sons and he begins to tell his story. It is important for him to tell this story because, as, I, as he said on page 20 of this graphic novel, of all the speakers on the march on Washington, he's the only one left alive. Once he dies, he won't be able to tell his story from his perspective. If books or films that were based on or, or what people knew of him, it would lack something that only his own words and perspective would provide. I bought this book at, in a bookstore. I wasn't even looking for it. I was just browsing. If I were checking out books online, odds are I would have never came across this, which is reason number one why I love bookstores better than the internet. This, this is volume one, and in interviews about the novel, I don't recall Congressman Lewis ever saying anything about how many volumes of this will come out. Uh, but I'm assuming it's going to be one a year due to his how busy he is. Hopefully he will be able to tell his um, story completely before he passes away. I feel everyone should read this. The fact that it's in the graphic medium I think would help out his case. The novel is in black and white and I think in this case the lack of color helps pull the reader into the story. Certain books are required reading, reading and I feel this one should be required reading in schools, universities, and just in general. If someone were to, if someone told me they wanted to read some great comic or graphic novels but didn't want to read superheroes, I'd recommend them this. Miles, spelled M-A-U-S, A Contract of God, which is a trilogy, Persepolis, Bride of Baghdad, oh, it works like these and superheroes included that makes me proud to be a comic reader and a comic creator. I mean it's works like these that shows the strength and diversity of the men. Also with the exception of March and A Contract of God which is a trilogy, the rest of these graphic novels are only one volume long so you don't have an excuse to say you don't have any space. They don't take up that much space. I'm, I'm gonna end this because I didn't want to make it to be a real long essay and I didn't want to to bring up certain events in the comic because I didn't want to spoil you when you read it and everything. But um, as soon as they, um, as soon as another volume of this comes out, I'm definitely going to be buying it. And until next time, goodbye.